Now, I was recently asked if I could fix someone's Bose sound system, and if we plug it in, you can clearly see what is the issue with this thing. Here, some crackling. Oh. Yeah, obviously, something's wrong with this. So let's uh, flip it over and see if we can figure it out. Tanner, check, Tanner, check, Tanner, Tanner, check, Tanner, check, Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. All right, now if we look right here, we can see there's some clear signs of arcing on the power connector. You can see there's almost no solder there. It's almost all vaporized, and this lead just floats around. So whenever you plug it in, it goes back and forth and arcs. Another interesting thing that I've noticed right here is if you look on this lead, the solder is kind of broken around it. See that little ring? That is not a good sign. That means the solder is broken away. Now, there's a few reasons behind this. The first one is that there is too much current flowing through the circuit, and that causes an overload on the solder, which causes it to vaporize. And that is a probable reason for this thing failing, but it can be disproven because if we look on the other side, it can be clearly seen that the fuse is intact and not broken at all, especially by the arcing that we saw before. Now, although a short in the internal circuitry, of this machine could have led to this vaporization of the solder and high current through the solder joint. I think there's another cause at, at fault here. So if we look at the connector, you can see that there's a little ring around it, and that's where the solder has actually been loosened. Now it may be kind of hard to see here, but that shows that the solder joints here are not that good. And I can show you an even better example of these bad solder joints. So if we slide the device up, to this connector, you can see the, some of the solder joints in here and how bad they are now. Now this is horrible because it shows like how bad the soldering uh, was done on this device because um, if this was properly soldered or even if they used good solder, uh, an issue like this would never happen, especially on one of these uh, connectors where someone is constantly pushing in and out a different uh, cord. They should, they should have used extra solder on here. So this is a big problem we'll have to fix on this audio connector, and it also shows what the problem is on the connector at the bottom. There's a high probability that the issue with this uh, audio unit was that the solder on here was poorly soldered and there wasn't enough solder, which caused arcs to happen and the solder to vaporize around the connector plug. And so, theoretically, if we just replace the solder on here and here, then these plugs should work just like normal. So that's what I've got this little portable soldering iron for. Works good. I'll just have to solder some new solder on there. All right, so it seems that my portable soldering iron, the battery one was out of solder, I mean out of battery, so it's time to go with the big boys and use this uh, butane soldering iron. Should get the job done. All right, so I have fixed the two little solder things right there. I'm not going to touch these because they're live, but we've got our two solder blobs. And as you can see, the one that had vaporized and arced all over is now a perfect little solder blob. And up here we have our other two. And these two are perfect solder blobs, so it looks like this thing is going to work. So I've got it plugged in, and what do you know, it turns on, and it works perfectly, it seems. So let's see how well it works by playing some test music on it. Ready? Three, two, one. That's some quality sound. And yeah, it looks like this uh, amplifier unit is working just fine. Let's hear how well the bass speaker plays it. That's some pretty powerful bass. Well, as you can see, that is how to fix a device that has some issues with the soldering on it. As you can see, I was able to successfully resolder all the components, and the speaker works just as it should now. So, there you go. That is how to fix a speaker. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next time.